What's going on? It's Brian Bauer here, and today we are gonna be using the Kemper Profiler with the Jens Bogren Signature Rhythm IR Pack. A couple weeks back, I did a video using the Jens Bogren Signature IR Pack, but with the Audio Assault Sigma. Now, I changed the IRs out, and we went back and forth to hear how it sounds, and I thought that the IR sounded absolutely magnificent, as well as the amp sim itself. However, I'm a hardware guy, and I have the Kemper here, and that's what I use for the majority of my videos. Now, for the most part, I'm not a big, big tone chaser. I just plug in, if that's what I like, I'll tweak it a little bit here and there, and I record it. And generally speaking, I don't reamp or anything, but if you really want to change your sound up, you need to change your speakers or your cabinet or your mic placement. And in the modern recording at home kind of deal, that's gonna be your cabinet impulse response. So I really like the Jens Bogren IRs. Been digging them quite a bit. And they, like I said, they sounded great with Sigma, but I said I would do it with the Kemper Profiler. So for this video, I took the high gain profiles that I use the most, which would be the Chop Tones PRS Archie, or the PRS Archon, and the Bogner XTC by Guido Bungenstock, a Guidarist. I think those are both really great high gain amp profiles, but I wanted to see how those would change when I changed out the Canon IRs. So I recorded the profiles just the way that I normally do, but then I recorded them again without the Kemper's cabinet IR on. So then I get that really gnarly, ugly sound, and then I can change the impulse response out in Reaper. So to record this video, I also used my Solar A16D with the Evertune bridge in it. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get straight to the plane. So, how did you guys think that sounded? Personally, if you want my conclusion to this, it does change the sound. 
I like the PRS Archon exactly the way it is. However, I felt with the Bogner Ecstasy, I could change that and really get a much different sound. And I think I might have liked it a little bit more, saying that like I really like that profile. But generally speaking, when I'm playing with the camper and I'm not recording, I'm using my Harley Benton cab here. So I'm not even using the impulse response in the camper itself. So I'm turning the cab simulation off. So I'm hearing what the vintage 30s sound like. And I absolutely love that, especially with the cleans, the crunch and everything else. And I got the PRS Aircon and I, and I have that right there in my performance, the main one that I use for jamming and stuff. Personally, I'm not gonna tell you what my favorite impulse response sound was. I'm gonna let you guys decide that one. However, I really think that that changed that up and it does change your sound. Now you guys might have a completely different opinion on all this stuff. And you know what? If you want to record that way and do that, I'd say absolutely go for it. I think that Chop Tones and Guidaris did amazing jobs at those couple profiles too. But I also have to say that Jens Bogren did an amazing job at uh, making these cabinet IRs. I know a few people say they don't like them, but hey, they fit my tastes. I, I enjoy it and it's something that I definitely like. Am I going to switch things up doing that recording at the camper? I don't know if I'll do it so much there, but when using amp sims like the Sigma and other ones like that, yeah, oh, my definitely, definitely would do that, you know? Um, so overall, I think this is cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. It is just, you know, experimenting with things and I'm just bringing you guys along for the ride. So to end out the video, if you like this kind of content, you know, you can like hit the subscribe button. I think it's over there, there's one up there. Uh, there's the notification bell the like buttons and all that kind of stuff. And you can share the content if you want to, if you do all that stuff, you know, and you probably should, it's good to share your friend's stuff. And well, just stuff that you like because it gets it out there in the world. And you know, we, we like to get views when we do this stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys all next time. See yous.